Today we're going to look at the area of special quadrilaterals. So here we've got the areas of a few different quadrilaterals, uh, regular quadrilaterals. We've got the area of a parallelogram here. The area of a par parallelogram is equal to uh, base times height, so A equals B times H. And the height we're looking at is the perpendicular height of the, of the quadrilateral, of the parallelogram. So it's drawing a line up from the base, very much like looking at a triangle, uh, drawing a line up from the base and looking at the perpendicular height there of the parallelogram. And we multiply that by the base and that gives us the area of the parallelogram. So looking at rhombus and rhombuses and kites, if we have a look at the diagonals, and we look um, and name the diagonals, one diagonal being X and another diagonal being Y, doing the same with a kite here, one diagonal being X and one diagonal being Y. The area of, of the, uh, the rhombus or the kite is going to be a half times X times Y. So a half multiplied by one diagonal and multiplied by the length of the other diagonal. We can also look at the area of a rhombus being the same as the area of a parallelogram. So we could use um, a rhombus as a parallelogram if we had the perpendicular height of the, of the rhombus and the base of the rhombus, that's going to give us exactly the same sort of image as the parallelogram there. And we can use the parallelogram formula if we've got that information. So it just depends on the amount of, on what sort of information we have about our rhombus or our kite or a parallelogram. Lastly, the area of a trapezium or a trapezoid, it can be called, um, is a half of A plus B in brackets multiplied by H. So A um, is the length along the top of the, of the trapezium and B is the length along the bottom of the trapezium. The height is once again the perpendicular, a perpendicular line from the side that's labelled B and the side that's labelled A. And these two sides, A and B, are parallel. So those two sides are parallel. So it's a half times A plus B, adding those together first, multiplying by the perpendicular height there. An example, a few examples here to have a look at, finding the area of these shapes. Here we've got a parallelogram. The perpendicular height is three meters and the length of the base is eight meters there. So area is base times height, uh, which is eight times three, which is 24 square meters. 24 square metres is going to be the area of that parallelogram. Having a look um, at the next uh, part of the example, we've got a kite here, a kite. Uh, the, one of the diagonals is 10 centimetres and the other diagonal is going to be 20 centimetres. So if we use the formula for the area of a kite, which is a half times X times Y, X is the length of one diagonal, 10 centimetres, and Y is the length of another diagonal, 20 centimetres. So a half times 10 times 20 is going to be 100 square centimetres. Our last example here, we've got a trapezium. A trapezium with um, one parallel side being three millimetres and the other parallel side being 11 millimetres. The perpendicular height of our trapezium is five millimetres. So the area is a half times A plus B multiplied by H. So A plus B is going to be 3 plus 11. So that 3 plus 11 is going to be 14. The height we've got is 5, so it's a half times 14 times 5. And a half times 14 times 5 is 35 square millimetres.